Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam, and in today's session, I'm going to show you the creation of OTBI analysis by using BI analysis editor. So before we proceed and create our analysis using analysis editor, first we need to know about the analysis editor. So what is a BI analysis editor? BI analysis editor is nothing but uh, it's an another way through which we can create the analysis and generate our report as uh, it uh, allow us to explore and interact with the information by visually presenting our data in the forms of tables, graphs, pivot tables and so on. In this analysis editor, we can include different types of views. We can implement drill down functionality. We can conditionally enable the drill down functionality. We have drill through functionalities. We have master detail events. So many different features or advanced features are provided by this analysis editor. So this is the difference between BI Composer and BI Analysis Editor that this analysis editor provides us more advanced features as compared to BI Composer, which helps us to create more customized analysis and generate reports on that one. So in order to get better understanding for this analysis editor we need to move on to the instance and this is this is our home page and the question comes how do we get our bi server so that we can create our analysis uh, so in order to get that one So in order to create the OTBI analysis using the analysis editor, these are the ways through which we can get our BI server. As this is our home page. So first one is on the reports and analytics page, we have to click on the browse catalog option so that we can get our BI server. So this is uh, our home page and the navigations are simple. Click on this navigator icon and search for the tools option. Here is the tool. Here is the tools option and under it we have to click on reports and analytics. This is uh, basically the home page of uh, our BI Composer, right? And here uh, on the top left corner of uh, this page, we have uh, an option called Browse Catalog. When we click on this one, it will going to redirect us to the BI server. And this is our BI analysis editor environment where we can create our analysis. So this is the first way through which we can get it. Another way in to get this one is we have to simply take the URL of our instance and uh, we have to type slash analytics after dot com. So I'm going to show you this one also. Taking this URL. And paste it over here and put a forward slash after dot com and type analytics. And hit the enter button so that it will going to redirect us to the BI server. 
this is our bi server one more way in order to get this one on the reports and analytics page when there is the option called more when we click on this more option then it will going to redirect us to this one also like here in this uh, bi composer home page we have this option we have these three dots which uh, are just right away over here we have to click on this one and here is the uh, here is the option called more click on this one so that it will again going to redirect us to the bi server and this is our bi server and these are the two folders my folders and shared folders so under shared we have one custom and under custom i had created one folder which is this one bi analysis editor so i am going to save all the bi analysis all the analysis which uh, i will going to create using this analysis editor i am going to save all my analysis in this folder so this is our bi server uh, and in this time uh, in order to create this analysis this time again we have to select the subject area right so these are the tabs which are available over here home catalog favorites dashboards create open so as we are as here we are creating uh, the analysis so we have to click on this uh, create option then it will going to open all the options which comes under this one so i am going to click on this one analysis when we click on this analysis option it will going to open the subject area window where we will be able to select our respective subject area on which we are going to create our analysis it will uh, when we first time when we uh, create our analysis it will take uh, more time to open this window so we have to wait in order to open this window so that we can select our respective subject area here it has uh, opened here the window where uh, we can uh, select our subject area has opened like these are the these are the subject areas which we can select so we have to search uh, our respective subject area take this one so when we select any subject area the window will appear before us where we can select our measures and here this is the analysis creation page where we can create our analysis and under this one we have these tabs like criteria results prompts advanced so under this criteria tab we will be able to select uh, uh, the desired measures which we want to include in our analysis like uh, these this is the subject area and under the subject area we have these uh, Uh, folders and under these folders we have measures and fact measures so this is about the criteria tab and uh, when we click on this result tab it will uh, going to uh, it will going to display the preview of uh, the analysis uh, 
like uh, how our analysis will look like and next we have the prompt tab it will uh, it will allow us uh, to implement uh, or gen, uh, implement or create uh, uh, whatever kind of prompt you want to implement in your analysis you can create uh, under this tab and last we have uh, this advanced option uh, and in it uh, we can here we can get uh, the xml code and the uh, sql uh, queries which are generated uh, over here and uh, the we can examine the xml code and the logical sql queries statement generated for the analysis these things are available under this tab which is the advanced one so these these are the tabs criteria results prompts advanced and this is uh, all about uh, the introductory part of uh, bi analysis editor and this is all about this session in our next session i am going to show you uh, how do we create our first simple analysis by this analysis editor so this is all about this session thank you everyone for watching